It's a beautiful night out. Beautiful night for a drive. Yeah. What do you say we go on a little bird hunting road trip? Got the tiger moth ready. The dogs are more than ready. So I think we should uh, hit the road. Let's hit it. I couldn't imagine being a hunter without having the sense of adventure. The two just go hand in hand, but maybe that's different for others. I've always dreamed of driving through forests, cornfields, prairies to arrive in the great Rocky Mountains, open the door and smell the coniferous mountain air. But what really makes a good adventure? Because if it's a lot of birds, then this definitely wasn't. The most important part of an adventure is the fact that you don't always have control over the situations. And when things go wrong, which they might, you become a problem solver. You have decisions to make, but realize you're still outside the normal drag of everyday life. And you must do everything you can to make the most of it. All right, so first uh, couple days here, in Colorado and things didn't really go as planned. That is the tiger moth. Hey, I'm doing a vi I'm making a little video. Want to say hi? My hi. my truck broke down, right, and got stranded in Sterling, Colorado. And then your dad, my brother-in-law, came out and rescued me. Towed the uh, tiger moth back. $6,000 to repair the truck. And it's going to take him all week. So, my buddy is going to come. Hopefully, he can save the trip. But I got to spend a couple days with you. How do you like the tiger moth? Pretty good? Cozy? You think it'll work for a hunting trip? Good deal. I can camp out with it to, if you're a tent. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. My, my mom doesn't like camping. No? She does a little bit. She just has to get be in the right, the right spots. So besides the truck breaking down, at least I got rescued. Mm -hmm. I've been fighting poison By ivy. Poison ivy. Cool camper. Yep, poison ivy all over my body. I smashed my thumb in the door. It's been a rough, it's been, it's been a rough start, right? But we're gonna we're gonna make it happen. Boom. All right, so. Today we're going hiking, and then, and then my friend's it? friend's coming to pick me in the trailer, and the dog's up. I do not have all my camping stuff, but I think I have enough to make it, to make the trip still happen, so. Then we're getting Get. ice cream when we come back home. Yeah, we're getting ice cream today, too, so. We're going to, uh, yeah, going to do the best we can to make it work. It's beautiful out. <laughs> all right, so, update. Look at look who's here. We got Matt and Julian. Thank you, Julian, for rescuing me and Castle Rock at my sister's. Very welcome. And I never met him. I actually never met Matt, but we've been friends online for a long time. Got the sportsman vibe going on, and uh, he's been generous to invite me to Bird Venture, you know, Idaho next week, and we're in Colorado now. Hopefully, chasing some ptarmigan <laughs> tomorrow. Ptarmigan and grouse, yeah. if we can find them. So, um, as far as everything is going. Between the poison ivy and the thumb and my truck blowing up and then my brother-in-law rescuing me there and pulling the trailer we get the trailer in the background down there um these guys have been awesome so making it happen that's what you know being sportsmen and being friends like, yeah. all, about, so. Helping each all right other out. we're gonna go to a cool concert tonight and just just chill all right out <laughs>
Boy, Winnie, wait and stay close, bud. Guys, where where are the ptarmigan at? Oh, they're they're about uh, two thirds of the way up there. They're up there in these boulder fields. Usually, uh, we see them above the tundra. Up, so you got the timberline, and then that thins out into the thin timberline and the tundra grass, and then the strewn boulder fields of the uh, mountain peaks and hilltops is where they tend to be. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go to like that stuff up there. Pretty much, yeah. You can see right about going up the uh, south face of that mountain. You can see people with the stops, and they yep. like to hide down in those boulders and rocks. Cool. The rock tarp again. Are you holding up good? I'm feeling, uh, you know, I'm, I'm getting, I'm a little short on breath. I feel good, but I'm a little short on breath. Yeah, that's. Normal. Every now and then, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. you gotta get next to breath in. Yeah, that altitude does that to you. You'll go for. Go for a breath. It's all part of the adventure. It's just not there. Yep, it's all part of the adventure. All right, <laughs> we'll get back on it. Somehow, I did it. We did it. Here I am standing on the footsteps of Ptarmigan Land. But we couldn't quite knock on their door. The wind had stopped us right in our tracks. But I can assure you I enjoyed every moment of this trip. With my new friends, the scenery, the pain in my legs, and every shortness of breath. Once again, I was reminded why I love adventure so much. I posted some photos from this trip in a forum on Facebook. I said every hunter at some point in their life should take an adventure outside their comfort zone. Somebody commented back and said, if only we were all able to. And it made me think how much we take for granted and how lucky I am to wake up every day, put my shoes on, hug my dogs, grab my shotgun, and hunt game in wild places. I will make it a point to get someone who isn't able to out, to give them their own adventure and introduce them to new friends. For me, this trip wasn't all about the ptarmigan. Our bags aren't bursting full of birds, but that doesn't make it any less of an adventure. It is only the beginning and time to head back to town for our 12 hour trip to Idaho tomorrow. <laughs>